Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris Saraga for the 365. I am at the South Four Bay today, and I'm very excited to be out here. I'm going to uh, show you guys the Ronald B. Roby power plant, also known as the Thermalito Dam power plant. That power plant has not been working for a while, so I thought I would just give you a view of it. I didn't know very much about this power plant when I first decided to do this, so I've done some studying. I'll tell you about that in the following drone video as we're flying around. Uh, right now, just to orient you out here, right directly behind me right there is Table Mountain. So, and then right down this way, Behind those trees would, is the Oroville Dam. So this is all part of the massive water project that's all around Oroville. So the water comes from the dam itself, goes down through this, obviously the spillway, which it's not doing right now, or the Hyatt Powerhouse, which it is doing right now. By the way, that's at about 10,000 cubic feet a second as we speak right here. Lake level is around 815 feet. Um, so the water goes down from there into the diversion pool, then uh, to the diversion dam, and then that water is diverted off to what is known as the four bay, which I'm standing in front of right here. And then it goes through this entire four bay, through the um, bridge that you can see right, hopefully you can see, it's a little small for me, right back over that direction, and then comes through this power plant, and then continues on to the uh, Thermalito After Bay. So that's what I'm hoping to show you guys today. I've kind of gone down this whole water project over the past few days or weeks, so I thought I would show you a little bit more of that. Um, just to send you around, show you around a little bit more, right in that area over there, which is hard to see with the trees covering it, is a wonderful place to uh, spend the day barbecuing or anything. This is less crowded at all times than the main four bay is. Uh, that is just, actually the main four bay is just that direction there. And actually I reported from the four bay uh, aquatic center right there a few days ago. So that area has more people, not saying it's crowded. It just has more people than this area here ever does. Uh, the fee's the same. It was $8 for a day. That's not bad at all considering everything that you get here. So uh, come on out, check it out. It's a wonderful place. As you can see, it's nice. It's a, there's a little bit of wind, but the water's still calm, cool, ready for you guys. There is a slight warning for those of us who don't like really Really cold water. Um, this water is cold. Uh, this comes from basically the bottom part of the dam and then is brought out through this project to warm up. So this is the first, actually the second pool of water that gets warmed up. So it's not necessarily the warmest water you ever get into, but it feels really good when it's, uh, you know, 80 to 100 outside that having that cool water is really great. So that is what I have for you today. What follows will be the drone video of this area and the uh, Ronald B. Roby power plant. So enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Hello, everyone. We are over beautiful South Four Bay here. Let me get you a quick orientation so I can show you where we're at. That direction right there is the channel that goes back to the main four bay, so uh, the north four bay. And that channel will follow that back kind of right in the center of your screen. You can see that that goes over somewhere in that direction is the four bay aquatic area, which I reported on before. And right in the center of your screen there is the actual Oroville Dam. So we're quite a few miles away from the Oroville Dam itself. So what I am flying today is this entire area in the surround. So let me actually kind of show you the camping area I mentioned earlier. It'll kind of get us over that, that general direction. I don't want to go too close because there's some people there. We don't want to mess up their privacy at all. There we go. So this is the camping area that anybody can just camp at there. I'm sorry, I said camping twice. I actually meant picnic area. You're only allowed to be out here during the daylight area. So let me, daylight time. So let me say that one more time. That is a picnic area only. 
a lot of people out there having a good time today. You can see in the top right corner of your screen the uh, launch ramp that's here. That launch ramp is for uh, basically unpowered boats. They don't allow powered boats on this part of the uh, four bay at all. Uh, you know, so like paddle, paddle boats, canoes, kayaks, those things are all okay out here. Sailboats, sailboats are also okay. Let me turn us a little bit here and get us out a ways. I'm gonna try to show you the inlet to the Thermolito power plant that we're actually here to check out. It's a gorgeous day as always out here in Oroville, California. It's been nice for a long time, actually. It's been great reporting out here because everything is so absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. It's supposed to get warm next week. I actually won't be here next week. I leave Wednesday for Barbados, as I've been telling you guys. There we go. So there is the inlet for the thermally what they're calling the Thermolito Dam. You can see there that that's, that dam has four turbines, we'll call them turbines, four turbines. Three of the turbines are able to pump water back and forth. So let me kind of pan you out there so you can see. So this, so the water comes from the four bay goes through the turbines there and then goes out to the after bay on the far side there on the right uh, left side of your screen sorry so that what this does is it allows to a generate power and this power is used solely for um, moving water in the California uh, California Water Project. So this is designed to generate water for the, I'm sorry, generate power for that. Now the three, the th three turbines slash pumps, they're able to pump water back from the after bay back into the four bay at, at, if necessary. Uh, they generate about, oh, let me see if I get this right. Yeah, uh, 21 megawatts of power and it has a total capacity of about 17,000 cubic feet per second it can put through that. So let me fly around this plant here. I don't want to go over the top of it too much. Just kind of get you a little bit better view. So we can see what we're looking at there. So this plant has not been in operation, full operation, since November 22, 2012, I believe. It might be 2015. I'll have to ch I'll have to double check that in note. But for a while, November 22, I definitely I definitely have. There was a fire there. So what happened was with this fire, it burned up the powerhouse. So they can't actually generate power. That is supposed to be corrected sometime in 2018. Now I have did some research online and the actual cost of all that is supposed to be somewhere in the cost of the dam, like $200 million all total. So that's a lot of money, as you guys all know. We know that from just, have, just dealing with the dam itself. So it's $200 million to do that. That includes demolition, and repair and everything that it needs in order to get back up and running. It's an important plant, so it does need to get up back up and running. running. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, let's pan you around so you can get a little bit better of an idea of where we're at right now. So I've seen this mountain my whole life and did not actually know that this powerhouse was there. We'll just kind of pan you around to get you reoriented. So once again, right in the center of your screen is the canal. That runs back from the diversion dam. We'll kind of pan over and 
that's the dam itself. Let's get us back over there. It is a little windy today. I'm gonna stop apologizing for the wind. I have no control over that. So if you hear a little bit of strange sounds on the recording, then you know that it's the wind and I can't do anything about that. Back a little bit. There you have it. It was very interesting to me that I knew absolutely nothing about this power plant and lived here all my life. So I can't imagine somebody who might not live in the area know any better than I do. Quite a bit of water that comes out of there. do one more orientation shot and I'm going to bring it back in. So, so the direction we're pointing right there is generally in the direction of Chico, California. And if we go this way a little bit, you can kind of see the after bay in the distance there. The canal that leads to the after bay. So that is generally in the direction of Richville right there. And then if you can see, right in the center of your screen is the Sutter Buttes. So I hope that helps orient you guys a little bit. Gridley would be in this general direction in the center of the screen also. Let's just do a complete pan around here before we bring her home. As you can see, Orville does not stay green for a long time, but I am finding that I actually don't mind the brown anymore. And I was young, I really didn't like the brown. But the brown tells me that at some point this is gonna be green again. This is just grass kinda of going into hibernation. There we go. Kinda of get the whole view back around. So there we are back around to the camping area. You can see myself and the car down in the middle bottom part of your screen there. And then that whole outlet. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. As always, like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Because uh, the more people that I get viewing this, the easier it is for me to get to these locations. The more legitimacy the uh, 365 has. And the easier it is for me to get these videos to you guys. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.